What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in my last video, I upgraded an HP Pro Desk Office PC. I swapped out the 4th Gen i3 it came with for a Xeon CPU. I added in some more RAM and I added a low profile RX 550, which is still one of my favorite low profile GPUs. I was pretty happy with the results. The only issue was in some games, the RX 550, the temps reached 90 degrees, which I wasn't too happy about. So in today's video, I'm going to be replacing the thermal paste on the RX 550 to see if that will help with the temps. Uh, I've actually never changed the thermal paste on a GPU before. I've done it plenty of times for CPUs, but not GPUs. So hopefully this will help if I can get the GPU temps down a few degrees, even if it's just in the low 80s, I'd be happy with that. So there are really only four screws I have to unscrew here. Uh, just got to be careful because these screws are tiny. Uh, once you get them out, you don't want to lose them. And now I can remove the fan and see the thermal paste here and I'm going to scrape this off, clean it up and then reapply some thermal paste. And I'll just uh, fast forward through this part a little bit, scraping it off, cleaning it up. All right, now it's time to apply the thermal paste and I'll put this back together and hopefully this will help with my temps. And there we go, good as new. Let's get this back in HP Pro Desk and see how it does. All right, first up is Spider-Man Remastered. This is before Thermal Paste. So I'm gonna do a couple games before and after. So this is before the addition of the new Thermal Paste, before I reapply new Thermal Paste. Uh, as you can see, the GPU temp is 90 degrees. Sometimes it goes to 91, 92. So, you know, a little too hot for me. Um, 85 for me would really be the max. Um, but yeah, as you see right now, it's 90, then 91. Okay, and here it is after the fresh thermal paste. Temps do drop a little. This is after playing for, you know, a little while. It doesn't go past 85 degrees. I was hoping it would be a little bit cooler, but it's still an improvement from before. And here's Hot Wheels Unleashed before the fresh thermal paste. GPU temps get to 90, 91 degrees, just like in Spider-Man Remastered. And here it is after the fresh thermal paste. Uh, as you can see, just like in Spider-Man, it does help a little bit, you know, I wish it was a little bit cooler, but just like in Spider-Man, it doesn't really get past 85 degrees. And here's Fortnite with the fresh thermal paste. When I recorded gameplay for this game originally, I didn't show the GPU temp, but did want to show one other game. Uh, and just like the last two games, the temps for the RX 550 after the fresh thermal paste don't go past 85 degrees.
So applying the fresh thermal paste definitely helped with the temps of the RX 550. I wish the temperature decrease was more significant, but it did help drop it enough to get it out of the, what I would say is the concerning high temps category. So that's gonna be it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.